This is Fred Rachani of the SportsCourier.com at the Philly MMA and Sports Expo 2011 edition here with Mr. International Shoney Carter. How's it going, my man? It's going great. Woo, look at I must say damn. it's going great. Can I'm here. I'm doing the damn thing. Have you had some uh, pimp juice lately, dude? You got uh, you got the nice set there. You got the shoes, got the belt. Yeah, I'm, I'm trying to bring bring sexy back because Justin didn't quite do it right. <laughs> so what's going on with you? You said you were going to retire. Go on your Facebook page, you said to hell retiring. Yeah. You know, you're doing professional wrestling. Can you set the record straight what you're actually doing? Because I'm not really All right. sure. All uh, right, people, listen. My name is Shoney Carter. Coming back on TV in your house real soon. Am I retiring? Probably not. It'll probably be a long time before you see me in an MMA cage, but you might see me in a pro wrestling cage. Then you might see me in an MMA cage. But then you might see me in a movie in an MMA cage. You might see me base jumping off a cliff in Norway with a Russian model that dabs only butt naked. I am trying to do things off my bucket list that you cannot even begin to imagine. I'm, I'm trying to go meet the president again. You were right. I did not stutter. Again. 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 And you are going to be making your professional wrestling debut for ACPW this Sunday? This Sunday. Not one day Sunday. This weekend. Get your WrestleMania weekend started, right? With Shane I'm, Carter? I'm trying to tell you. I'm trying to do it big on the weekend. <laughs> There's a new force of energy out there. It's called Shoney. There's a new source of study. It's called the Carter Method. <laughs> Mr. Internationalology. I'm about to do strange things in a familiar circle. The Iron Ring. That's right. And that was not a plug for BET. <laughs> I'm just saying. I'm doing strange things yeah. for the love of my two boys and my daughter. Yeah. Yeah. Now, can you show us a little bit of, before we get to uh, my next question? Can you show us a little pimp strut you taught GSP once? Okay. Ultimate Fighter. All right. Listen. You have to act like. Can you show me this? Too? I want to. I want to do it with you. All right. You gotta act like all you right. got all day. All right. And you're the most important thing. Most important thing. Walking into the room. All right. You, you own this. I own this. I own this expo. Okay. All right. Ready. Ready. You gonna dip with the sh the left shoulder slightly, lead like off this? with the left foot. Okay. Relax. Gotta relax. We gotta relax. You got all day. Then you want you decide to go back because you forgot something. Mm -hmm. Pop it again. Bam. That's, I, I that's think I'm, I'm, I'm getting the hang of it. Now, yeah, that's how you now, do you, it. now your boy GSP yeah. from Tough Four, man. He's going up against Jake Shields. Yes, yes. That's an easy uh, paycheck for him, in my opinion. You think so? All I'm saying is from previous experience and sparring with Jake Shields, I've got nothing against Jake personally or professionally. All I'm saying is there are certain West Coast individuals who don't like getting hit in the face. Now both of the boys are trying to bring Sexy back as a collective by having their fight in his hometown. And what I'm saying is if you cannot take him down, you got to deal with that Shido Khan striking us. Because, uh, yeah, George St. Pierre and I are both Shido Khan black belts and karate. And what Jake needs to understand is George St. Pierre is taking down the Canadian Olympic wrestling team. Now, I'm not saying his jiu-jitsu ain't tight. His game is tight. But the problem, the P-R-O-L-L-U-M problem is... He does not have the striking technical proficiency that one George St. Pierre has. Another facet within the problems in which Jake has is that Jacob has not done any or as many five five-minute rounds as George Gorgeous St. Pierre has. Yes, I call him Gorgeous. Well, you call him Gorgeous, I'll stop you there for a minute. Now, we, we, can we get the point on that and the fight, but I'm right. going to ask you, is the reason GSP is good with the ladies, is that because of you? Is that because of what you taught all him on Spike TV? All I'm going to say is, I have given him a few proficient pointers in being who he is and understanding his full potential. I mean, he's got a 15-pound gold and leather 
game breaker. That's that right there. That's that icebreaker game breaker. You know, when you get that that strap around your waist. He's and, also got the accent too. And get that French Canadian accent. And if you keep that shit simple. Hello. My name is George St. Pierre. I'd like to meet you, take you, wine you, dine you. We go dancing. We go back to my place. We play some soft music. And I make love to you. Now sign this waiver, you won't say I raped you. Oh my god. <laughs> okay, I'm overly silly. I'm silly. But that's what I would do. I would just say, you know, let's go somewhere a lot more quiet, you know, romantic, isolated between you and me. We make things happen. Only things that you would love to happen will happen. Oh my gosh. This is how it's said and this is how it's done. <laughs> well, MMA action is about to begin an extreme cage combat show. I'll get you out on this, man. What's All next right. for you after your wrestling debut Sunday and where can fans find you online? You're going to find me on Facebook. You're going to find me on the underground, but you're going to find me in movies. I'm doing a movie called Triple Threat. I'm doing a documentary in Bulgaria. How to train as an MMA fighter in America versus in Bul being in Bulgaria. I'm doing a few movies. I'm going to act accordingly to the director's direction. And maybe I will sign a contract with none other than Vince McMahon with all things going well. And I will be the most electrifying international player of acceptance and acknowledgement in the world. Bam. Bam. Tony Carter. Whoa, turn the lights on us. Always a pleasure, my man. Always, always.